Okay, welcome to session three of our Microsoft series. Um, in our previous lesson, uh, we covered entering data into a cell. Um, as an overview, please remember that you can overwrite data in a cell simply by typing in that active cell. Um, it's important to remember that. Um, I'm just reiterating it because a lot of people have gotten rid of a lot of uh, data just by typing over it, thinking that they were appending to it or um, editing it. You're not. You're actually erasing the data that's in that cell. So to edit data in a cell, just like editing pretty much anything else in Microsoft, you can use an F2 to um, essentially rename or, or re, um, re-enter that cell for editing. So F2. And then use your arrow keys um, to move within the information within that active cell to add or uh, delete characters or, or numbers or what have you. So um, that's just a, a basic review. Um, moving on, we're going to go to deleting data in a cell. Um, I'm just going to write some, some data in this first column. And I'm going to uh, write three primary colors. So blue, red, enter. red R, R, it, R, it, D, enter. yellow, L, L, e, F, F, o. Enter blank, okay. and then I'm going to write the, the three secondary colors right here. So purple, green, orange, so that's six cells within that column contain data. If I want to delete, for example, I want to go and delete the uh, yellow, I'm going to actually uh, you can either shift enter or arrow my way up to yellow. Green, purple, yellow, A3. Oh, there she is. So, and if I hit delete, blank, A3. That makes A3 blank. You do not, you cannot get rid of a cell so that it, it goes A1, A2, A4, A5, A6. It, it doesn't work that way. Hitting delete just deletes the data within that cell. So, but if I had wanted to make it so that there was not a, a blank cell between uh, red and purple, I would need to delete this row. In order to do that, I would need to delete through the home ribbon. So I'm going to do an Alt H to go to the home ribbon. Alt H, upper D, menu, lower okay. ribbon, cells, group box, delete cell. Okay, that is the cells group box, the leading group box, okay? So if I hit a down arrow, it'll delete the cells. Um, if I down arrow again, it will delete my selected row, which is what I want. So I'm actually going to do that. Delete, delete, delete sheet rows, all followed by H, D, R, enter, leaving menu. So now I'm select my, menu, change my menu. menus. Red, A2. Purple, A3. So purple is in A3, and that blank cell that had yellow in it is gone. Okay. Suppose I want to now, I want to get rid of red. Red, A2. So I just want to get rid of red the way it is. So again, I'm going to go to the home ribbon to the delete box. But then instead of waiting for John to tell me, I'm going to hit R. So Alt H, D, R. Let's see what happens. Alt H D R leaving menus home tab the okay, change rid blue A one purple A two. Now it, that got rid of red because what that was was that was the shortcut combination to get rid of a row. So Alt A D to get to the delete group box and R to delete the row. Now suppose I want to delete this whole column. I want to get rid of this. Blue A purple green orange A four. Okay. Black A five. So. Oh. No matter where my focus is in this column, I can delete the whole column. Purple, green, A3. I'm going to have this, I'm going to purposefully put it in the middle of the column and focus my cursor in A3 on green. So then again, I'm going to go to my home ribbon. Alt H, D, D, menu, lower ribbon, and then C, C, leaving menus, home tab, to change now, left, left, A1. Now my A column is completely empty because what has happened is I've deleted the data in row A and that those blank cells have moved over to to create um, space for that. It, it's it's one it's it's kind of in some ways it's better to think of it as um, 
the data has been deleted and the cells have moved over because when you have a lot more data in a sheet, uh, that data will move over to the previous row. And, and once you monkey around a little bit more with Excel, you'll, you'll understand that concept. Um, so that's deleting. Uh, what I want to do is uh, have you uh, create a uh, sheet that has um, in column A, we're going to put states, and in column B, we're going to put the capitals of those states. So I'm going to uh, do that very quickly. Um, I have some data prepared to type out. I'm just going to reference that. So in uh, A1, I'm going to type Florida. F-L-O-R-I-D-A. And the table is Tampa. F-A. Enter. Land. B. Land. A2. Okay. I went to A2, Wisconsin, my home state. F-L-O-R-I-D-A. Land B2 F A O N. Land A3. Okay, now New York. F E T W A R K. Land A L. B A N Y. Land Land A4. Four Mississippi. F I F M I F S I S S I P P I. Land J A S K O N. Land. Oops. Ryan A5. Land A5. Yes, I am. Okay, so California. C L I L O R I A. Sacramento is the calendar capital. S C A C R. F T F of space. Enter. Land A six. Okay, and Tennessee. Land A S H I F E space. Okay, so those are my my states and capitals that we're going to be working with from from this point. Um. Excuse me. So I wanted to have some data in here to show you about selecting cells, rows, columns, and regions. So I'm going to refocus my uh, my active cell to A1. So I'm going to go to the top. Florida, file. A1. Florida. Okay. So suppose I wanted to sell, select the next cell. I would hold down the shift, and I would hold down the right arrow. Select Tampa, B1. Okay. It, by the way, it may not say that Florida is selected. It is. It's just telling you what has been selected in addition to Florida, which is the active cell that you started in. So I'm going to actually unselect by doing a select in a backspace. Selection collects the active cell. A1. So that brings back my selection to where I started. Uh, I can select the next cell down by the same way, holding down the shift and the down arrow. Select Wisconsin A2. So again, I'll collapse my selection by doing shift and backspace. Selection collects the active very, cell, Florida, A1. Very easy way to unselect text. Um, you would also, by the way, uh, select the previous um, row and previous column by using the shift up arrow and the shift left arrow. Uh, that's pretty obvious. Um, to select to the bottom of the column, and this is kind of tricky, um, shift and down arrow. It's it's a little bit more spread than you normally get out of your fingers. So you're going to hold on your shift and end and then tap your down arrow. Select A1, Florida, A6, Tennessee. So that tells me that Florida through Tennessee are selected. And I'm going to collapse my selection back with shift backspace. Selection collapse to active okay. cell, Florida, A1. Now, as you can imagine, my... Uh, by uh, selecting to the end of a row will be very similar. It'll be um, shift and and right arrow. Select Tampa B1. Now it's only select as you notice it. It'll only select the uh, the end of a region to where I already have data entered. It's not going to select all the way down there. For example, if you need to select to the previous or the next screen, you would do a shift and a page down or shift page up. Um, so I'm going to collapse my selection again. Selection collects the active cell, now, Florida, A1. If I wanted to select to the next page, I'm going to hold down my shift. Page shift down. page down. Select A1, so now I have Florida, selected, A26. Land. From this point, I have selected to the next screen. Okay. Um, so that's actually pretty easy. I'm Florida, A1. There. Just unselect that there. So now that we're at the, the perfect spot to practice inserting.
So what I want to try to do is to, um, to insert a uh, row above there. And the reason I want to do that is maybe I want to name my columns. So I need, in order to name them, I need an extra, extra cell at the top. So um, I'm going to need to do that. You can also, by the way, add extra rows as well, extra columns, kind of whatever, um, extra columns. So if you wanted to add data to, to each um, state, such as um, population, unemployment rates, um, number of children per couple or, or whatever, it doesn't really matter. Um, that's one thing that you, you can certainly do. Um, to insert is the same way or a similar way, uh, just like deleting was. We're going to go to the home ribbon. All dates, I, menu, lower ribbon, okay. cells, group box, insert so cells, dot, dot, I don't dot, want to insert control, cells. Plus shift plus equals. I'm going to, uh, I want to insert rows. Insert sheet, enter, leaving menus, home, tab, the so change ribbon, use left notice, or right what arrows, happens and that is that A1's data Florida A2 is now an A2. Blank A1. And A1 is blank. B1 will also be blank. Blank B1. Because I've inserted data. Tampa B2. B2. Florida A2. Blank so now A1. I'm going to type state. S-T-A-T-E. Blank. C-A-P-I-T-O-L. Okay. State. Capital B. State A. Florida A2. Wisconsin, A3. So you'll see now each has a, um, there is a uh, state in one column, the capital in the next column. You could insert a... New York, A, Wisconsin, A3. Suppose I wanted to insert um, Nevada. All dates, upper ribbon, home tab, the I menu, lower ribbon, cells, group box, and insert sheet rows, alt, insert sheet column, insert sheet row, enter, leaving menus, home so tab, the change ribbon, use left or right arrows, the undo, S reader 3.0. Oh. oh, okay, I need to insert above, so I'm going to New go York, to New York, A4. and I'm going to do a... All dates. I are leaving menus in New York, blank, A4. There you go. Now I've inserted between Wisconsin and New York, Nevada. A, 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 space, blank, and B4. And the capital of Nevada is Carson City, not Las Vegas, you guys. C, A, R, O, N, up, what, space. Okay. Um, so I've successfully added a row. And uh, we have a already added column titles. Now you can certainly insert multiple rows and columns. If you want to do that, um, you would select several cells in the rows of the column, the same number that you would want to replace or to add. So I'm going to go actually to the beginning of this here. Um, Wisconsin, suppose Florida, A2. I want to add three uh Rows and I want to add them above Florida. Select with select Nevada A4. So then I'm going to. All dates, upper ribbon, I menu, lower ribbon, cells, group box, and R leaving menus, home tab, state A, land A2. As you can see, it's land moved. A3, land A4, Florida A5. It's moved Florida down three spaces, so I can insert land, three land spaces A2. above here. If I needed to, and let's A A F A A A A Scott N F A A Land A four Alabama and Texas C E X A F space. Okay, so if I wanted to insert those, and obviously land B four there's room for their capitals. Tampa B five Florida A Texas A four. And there's room for their capitals as well. So now we've kind of explored how to enter multiple columns, multiple rows, we've um, changed data. The only other thing I really want to try to go through today, just for just for the information of it, is how to select non-contiguous, contiguous, I, I can say this, I can do it, contiguous regions. If I wanted to select more than, than one cell in a region, and um, I would do a control G for go to. 
Control G. Go so, to dialogue. Go to Alt uh, Alt R. B. B. F B. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and suppose I wanted to do to select A, A one, one colon, colon B, B nine. Eight. Ooh, okay. B eight. Sure. Why Why not? Enter. Select A one. So eight, now I B have eight, selected. Alternate. That re that area of cells from A1 to B8. I've selected those. Um, if I want to, I could also, which is an interesting thought, to, I can select more than one range. So let me um, collapse my selection again with a backspace shift. Selection collapse to active okay. cell state A1. Now, suppose I want to select A1 to B3. And, but I also want to select A8 to B10. So I'm going to go to my go to again with the uh, control G. Control G. Go to go A. A1. One. Colon. Colon. What did I say? B3? B. 3. And then separate that with a column. Or with a comma. Excuse me. Comma. And then I want to maybe do A. What did I say? A8 to A10. A, A, colon, A, one, zero. Okay, and then I'm going to hit enter. Enter. Select two areas. A1 dash B3, A8 dash A10, New York. Selected range. Two areas. A1 dash B3, A8 dash A10, New York. Oh. Microsoft Excel. Whoops. Selected range. I think two what areas. I actually A1 did was, uh, I'm just going to make it be quiet, but I accidentally hit A, A8 through A10 instead of B10, but... You, you get the idea that you can select two non-contiguous contigu <laughs> contiguous regions. See, I can still say it. Um, regions at once. So um, that's kind of a neat option. Why would you want to do that? You know, in case you wanted to cut, copy, paste, format. You can do a lot of different things like that. So um, and it would tell you what's selected. So um, I hope that was at least somewhat helpful for our this ver this um, session of um, Excel with a screen reader. In this case, Excel 2010 with JAWS 16. So thanks a lot and have a great day. See you next time. Recording dot 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 dialogue 8.0.